Hi friends, Misty here with Shabby Beautiful Scrapbooking. Um, I had a couple requests um, to do a tutorial on how I got um, the shimmer on these images. These are This is just a stamped image and I do it with watercolors, just a regular... Oops, let me widen out. This is just a regular set of watercolors. I bought it at Michael's a couple years ago. Um, the brand is Angora. I don't know if that means anything to anybody. I probably got it because it was probably the cheapest set they had. So this is what I used. And then I use pure mica powder. Um, you can purchase this in my store. It's pure mica. There's no additives. There's no colorants. Um, just the sparkle. So um, the watercolors already have a natural, they already have a binder in it. That's what holds the, the color to your paper. So you wouldn't need to add a binder to, binder to this, but if you wanted to use food coloring or something like that to make um, glimmer sprays, then you would want to use like gum arabic. You can get that at Michael's, put a couple drops in that, and that would act as your binder. But you don't need any for this. So this is, let's see if you can pick that up, how shimmery that is. Okay, it's real simple. So I have my watercolors. Well, first I'm going to stamp my image. Um, I like to stamp on a little stack of papers because um, it gives a little cushion and it gives a better image. You don't get gaps like you can on some hard surfaces. And then I love this Memento Rich Cocoa. Um, it's really great for shabby chic. It's not too harsh. Um, and it gives a really crisp color. And then this is a, one of the stamps I also... Oh, that, that one's not. Sorry. Where did that stamp go? Well, I, okay, I can't find it, but I already have one stamped here. So basically I would ink up my stamp and then stamp it on here. And this gives a little cushion. So I'm going to take that away. Oh. Here it is. Sorry I'm so disorganized, you guys. Okay. So I just ink it up. And you guys know I don't know how to edit, so all this will be in here. Press it on, and there you go. And like I said, this um, this ink won't bleed with the water coloring, so um, it's a good thing. So basically, I have my color palette here, and I want to do, I'm going to do it in pink again. I've got my water, and my bag of mica powder. So I'm just going to really wet up the color. Now this already has some in it because I've used it before. Ooh. You can see all the mica floating. And I'm just going to dip it in there. You don't really need that much and this will last you for forever. I have it right there on my brush and I just do it straight in the palette. I mean some of you might want to kind of dip out some color and then put it um, somewhere else but I don't care if it stays in there. Okay then I'm just going, let's see, I'm going to pull some of that color out. All right, that's way too dark so I'm going to get some water, water that down. Okay, and that's a little bright for me, so I'm just going to dip into this um, kind of a rust color. Just kind of get a little bit more of an antique color. And like I said, I'm not an artist. Um, just really wanted to show you the technique. Okay. So that's good enough. I've got my image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to follow the stamp. And this is a little bit darker this mix I have right now. So I'm just going to pull that into the dark sections. It's probably a little too dark. I might want to add some more water. And like I said, the paint itself is going to act as a binder. Now, I mean, if you really rub, you're going to be able to rub some of the glitter off, but um, just don't do that. Okay, then I'm going to add a little bit more water so it gets a little bit lighter, and I'm going to add just a little bit more 
of the brown. I'm just gonna pull that down. And like I said, there are some of you who are painters and I'm sure I'm not doing this the right way, but it gets the color on the page. And that's really it. You won't be able to see um, the glitter until it's, I mean the mica in there until it's dry, but then you end up with something like that. Um, and then also you end up with really glittery water. So what you could do, because I don't like to waste things, and this gets really glittery, you um, add a couple drops of the gum arabic like I told you, and then maybe a couple drops of reinker, and then you can just bottle it. And then you have either spray or like a, a light watercolor tint. Uh, you could dip your, dip your roses in it to get some sparkle, all kinds of stuff. Um, you can also, I also like to use um, the little varnish that's by the little squeezy paint, um, like a mat, and I add some of this in it, and I paint my flowers with that too, and that is really pretty. This is what I did with this. I don't think you can be able to see the sheen on it. Nope, it's not. There you can a little bit. It's not really picking up on the camera. They're real shimmery. Um, so there's lots of uses for that. Um, it's a lot of fun with the watercolor. Like I said, you use it with reinkers, but that's how I did that specific um, project. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment or to contact me um, privately. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much. Bye.